more grassroots programs, mm. more grassroots programs, more attention to talent discovery and development, more attention to um, helping a child that's got talent, uh, putting that child in school, walking through the basics so he can make something valuable out of life. There was also a fun side to all of this charity <laughs> event. That <laughs> friend is already laughing. And there was another team match. Uh, um, legal practitioner, Festus Kiamo, can play some good football. So him play football today. Alibaba uh, isn't Check. just a comedian. Play footballers. All of these persons came out I mean, to support the kids. The referee. Oh, my goodness. So uh, when, when we put together the, the, that picture, we're going to let you see um, the Nobel team match that went out. Okay, that's it right there. Uh, some even came with their, with their, with their sunshades on. Uh, but but call out luck by day. Mathematical, but they're good to be uh, right there. Uh, that was shot to me, no mathematical shake or dead by me. Charles Anazodo uh, was also there. I don't know, disregard their stomach. Come on, don't talk about it. Allergic Gafaru. Allergic Gafaru. That's um, Aunt Yejine. <laughs> In the cow body, uh, Festus Kiyamo. Jackie is team manager. You know, and, and, uh, oh, Jackie. Jackie. Ben Alaya chasing the boy is also part of the officials. Uh, president of the NFF, Amadou Pinik. So it was. I'm, uh, so, okay, now we let to be sure that was okay. It's all right. Joe Dico uh, was also part of the Amadou friend. Austin Popo uh, was also. I mean, this person came out. I was just. Well, it was, it, it, delighted. I saw somebody today and I felt so happy just seeing Ulumide Harris. And Ulumide growing, Harris. Was, growing up. Wow. On the 20 team that Ulumide Festus Harris, Odin, Manga uh, Mohammed, Festo Sodini too was yeah. there, mm. Mark Mbagwai. I mean, some fantastic talent. These uh, of you, you're coming to really show, 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 show their talent. That's today. right. And I mean, I mean, all of these persons, Chief Taiwo Ogunjobi, yeah. I showed that he's really a chief on the ball. You know, Festus Kiyamo also. You know, these guys came out to just show love. It's all about support of child. Friday, Friday, Friday Kuo was also uh, was also part of the mix. You know, uh, some ex internationals also uh, came out. Benga Adenka was the referee and also uh, brought some emotion and changing still has it in her, you know, she was the goalkeeper for uh, the Forbes team. I thought it was good, it was, it was good, it was a good way for them to, and that was a beautiful throw, and... Harry Walla hit the up, up you know, that shot to, <laughs> could have beaten the new goalkeeper. Harry Walla then came out, these guys are so fit, so we understand. Uh, let's pardon them. Um, Bukola Olakwa, they had a clear chance at goal, and then Mozupu came, and then he couldn't go with the ball again. But it was good to see them come out, kids up, sweat for uh, the love of these kids, you know, giving uh, their it's two all cents. It's all for charity. You know, it was it was really good. I must I must confess, it was good seeing all of these guys. And then that's their own beats. That's what they can give. You know, uh, it's good, our friends. It's it good. was a friendly game. Better. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think um, someone like she would do it. Took it as a friendly. <laughs> he was just running the flanks, running the lines, and we were like. Ha. Yeah, this is a, is a friendly game. <laughs> Just, uh, I'll see how much you play that uh, move. Sure. Okay, it's all right. Uh, so, so what these guys also That's tell you, look, goal. we are not just football administrators. This was a controversial goal, and then the referee says it's a goal. And then, oh my goodness. And then, uh, you know, I was also part of the team. It was good, guys. So well done to everyone that, that could, you know, that was bold enough to put on... To put on a jersey. Nice, you know, to, I, I, nice to see that colleagues, um, uh, journalists, um, administrators came out to support this. I tell what why cause uh, why not come out, show love, show support, and and it's all good. And hopefully, uh, maybe next year, Austin, you get to. No, I have to play next year. I have to play <laughs> next year. No, come on, guys, I have to play. So let's see. Let's get on with the show now. Sports tonight on Channel Television. Let's take a look at what's going on with the Super Falcons. The president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Ahmad Pinik, I was here last night, and he says, look. We are going to first. He says the sorry what went now with the Randy Waldrum uh, deal. He was supposed to come take over as technical advisor of the Super Falcons, but he has assured uh, that there will be uh, a world class coach for this team in the next two weeks. Africa is very important. We know the quality of this team, but Africa, some of the African countries are up in the game. So um, if we don't give attention to the team, they will be overtaken. And we have quality in this team. They need to have a, a coach, they need to have a program to get busy. That they, you just mentioned it, that there's a need for this team to have a program. The last time the Super Falcons lined up was at the African Women's Club. Yeah. That's a long time ago. Wow. That's a long time ago without activity. It's almost like saying like uh, the whole of this year, they didn't play any, any, any game, and it's, it's not good enough. If you're Africa's best, 
which I believe that we are, we should be able to up our game to compete with other big uh, women football um, uh, play, playing nations. Uh, I mean, I don't want a situation where we go back to, we've gone past losing 8 nil, 7 nil to teams from elsewhere, maybe from Asia or from Europe, we've gone past that level, our level. Now, even if we're going to lose, perhaps maybe the odd goal or slim margin, now we shouldn't allow this um, talent. These girls are willing to play football. And if you, look, if you look at the record, the most successful Nigerian team is the Super Falcons team. So um, uh, if you say the next two weeks, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Let's, uh, but I, I think these girls deserve a better deal. Mm, just in case you didn't have uh, listened to Amadou Pinnick, you didn't watch that interview. Uh, let's go back to it. Amadou Pinnick explaining what went down with the Round the World drum deal and of course giving the assurance that in two weeks time, so put it down, start counting just in case that code doesn't come. Go to the NFF uh, and ask them what is the problem. Amadou Pinnick was on our show. Let's listen to him. We'll be right back. I started the discussion with him because I called my colleague, the president of the U.S. Soccer Federation, who is a very good friend of mine, Mr. Sony Gulati. And Gulati introduced him to me, you know, and I, I sent him to the technical committee and said, they should see if he's okay. And they came back and said, well, he's okay. You know, and we started a discussion with him. And the director of technical, Beatrice Bewaran, engaged him, you know. And just when we're about to say, okay, they sent him ticket, they had, he, he sent his um, passport, he sent everything. Then like a human being, maybe they made an offer to him that he couldn't refuse. You know, it happens because you've not signed contract. That's why you say, what you say, say this. I refuse to say because those are the kind of things. Because if you say it, the confidentiality clause in whatever you're doing is not exposed. And at the end of the day, you will be the loser. Because we have not signed the contract. It could leave at any point. Once you've not appended that signature, they don't have any right to the, play, to, to the coach. And that was exactly what happened. And to us, it's a blessing in disguise. Because guess what? Within the next, take it from me, within the next two weeks, will be signing a world-class coach coming with his assistant for the Super Falcons. That's our next stop. We've arranged a friendly game with the Super Falcons and France, in the, you know, which, of course, I think is coming up on the 4th of April. That I can tell you, because that has been signed. It doesn't have any confidentiality clause. We're also trying to see if they can play another female team so they can they'll do a doubleheader because their next qualifying game for the World Cup is in June. So we are trying to see if we can do that. So we, we are ready for them because we know that they have great talent.